Hey, it's Melody. Welcome to A Saner Spin, episode 16 this week. I will be answering a question, actually, in reference to last week's Saner Spin uh, from a reader who asked, basically, about the distinction between depression and sadness. She asked specifically, uh, you mentioned in your Saner Spin today, last week, that you shouldn't uh, think that because you're feeling a bit sad that you're depressed, maybe you're just having a bad day. Well, how can you tell the difference? Because I figure if you're sad, you know what you're sad about, whereas depression comes just like a wave, and I don't know why I feel sad or tired or hopeless. And I think that's actually a really good depiction of what depression looks like, the sadness and tiredness and hopelessness. Uh, but I think it's really important to distinguish sadness from depression, because when you get diagnosed, I think, with bipolar disorder or depression, um, just um, in any mental illness, actually, you sort of start seeing symptoms everywhere all of a sudden, and sometimes it's easy to forget that being human means you feel, and some of that is totally okay uh, to a certain extent. And I think the what ends up happening, some people will describe depression as just being sadness for an extended period of time, but I think it's a lot more than that, and the distinctions are important to make. Uh, for me, my memory becomes affected. My energy level becomes affected, my sleep becomes affected, my diet becomes, my appetite. I, so I, a lot of people with bipolar have um, more atypical depression, um, and I'm like that. I sleep more and I eat more, uh, whereas a lot of people with unipolar depression um, eat less and, and end up having insomnia and sleep less, although, I mean, it doesn't necessarily work that way. That distinction isn't clear. It doesn't always happen that way. So... But it, it can, and for me, I end up, I find myself, my appetite increases, and I want to sleep all the time. Uh, it feels very physical, uh, so there is a, a big distinction, and it's still something, my message sort of last week, what I was trying to say, um, or at least what I was hinting at, was that it's okay to have a bad day. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, and it doesn't mean that it's taking you down the road to depression. And if you've just recently been there, and if you have just recently been diagnosed, it's really easy uh, to think, oh crap, here it is again, right? Um, when it might just be a bad day, and you're entitled to those, and it's fine. Uh, and sometimes it can become a self-fulfilling prophecy if you do think that, you know? So my hope is, and my message there was sort of to try and get people to not think that way, to think that it's okay to feel... Um, even feel very deeply sometimes, and that doesn't mean you're going to fall into depression again. Um, and I know that's a fear for a lot of people, so that was why I brought it up. Um, I think that's all I have to say for this week. I hope I answered your question. Let me know if I didn't, and please keep the questions coming. I'm really enjoying them. I know there's a lot I haven't gotten to. I'm trying. Okay, take care.